Hey everybody, so today is uh, Super Bowl Sunday, the day I'm filming this. I'm kind of uh, wearing my Green Bay Packer jersey, which is my favorite team. Um, and even though they're not playing Super Bowl, I'm wearing it anyway. But anyway, this is not the video uh, we're talking about. There's some booktubers um, that came up with a great idea. I'm going to list them all below in the descriptions of who they are. Um, they come up with a great idea for a kind of readathon, which will last for an entire year. And I thought it was a cool idea, so I'm going to kind of be participating in that. And this is called uh, a Earathon. So this is a type of an event that uh, lasts for a week um, of each month. And they, of course, they have uh, different themes to this. So starting tomorrow, February 3rd to the 9th, uh, is Harry Potter week. I'm glad they're doing this kind of first because I'm trying to get back into rereading the Harry Potter series. That's one of my goals for this year. But technically this isn't, you don't have to like read from the books. You could read anything related to Harry Potter. Um, or you could start from the middle of the series to the end or whatever. And, but uh, I'm starting from the beginning because I haven't read the first book in like so long. And I need to read it. So then on March 3rd to the 9th is anything Twilight. Um, I wasn't planning on really rereading Twilight. I have read all the, the books. Probably will read something associated with Twilight because I haven't read um, the short story that uh, one about Brie, I, I think. I forgot what it's called. And I don't have it. Um, otherwise I have like, I have graphic novels of the, uh, the book so I'll probably read those. I don't know. Uh, from April 7th to the 13th is a rereadathon where you get to reread pretty much anything, I guess. And for me, I'm going to kind of reread the first two books of the Divergent series. And in order to kind of get into Allegiant, I haven't read Allegiant yet because of all the hype that's going on. And I thought I would read it kind of when it's like non hyped. From May 5th to 11th is. Uh, finishing or catching up on a series. Uh, and this one, I'm deciding on uh, kind of finishing up the Delirium series. Let's see. I'm going to be finishing up the Delirium series, which I have. I have read the first book, um, but I have not read the uh, other two books, so I'm going to read those for the week. From June 2nd to the 8th is uh, anything Rick Riordan. Who, uh, who is the author of like Percy Jackson or The Ages of Olympus. He's on Embarrassed because I haven't read the Percy Jackson, so I'm going to probably read these, and these are still wrapped, so I don't know how many I'm going to read. From July 7th to the 13th is anything classic, and I think this is where I could get into my Anne of Green Gables that I want to read. Um, I only have, though, the box set of the first three books. This is kind of one of my goals for this year, because I wanted to really, really get into this. I love, I, I love the movie. It, but it nothing compares to the books. From August 4th to the 10th is anything uh, that is middle grade. Or I think somebody uh, also mentioned it's uh, Lemony Snicket as well. You could read those. I did find one uh, that I think I'll, I'll probably read in this, and I'll, I'll figure out what other middle grade or I'll probably go to the library and get some. But this one I'll probably read The Two Princesses of Barmer by Gail Carson Levine. Um, it says she's also the author of Ella Enchanted. So I read this, um, I read this a long time ago, but I, I don't think I've ever finished it though. From September 1st to the 7th is a uh, new adult. And this is a type of genre that I'm not really too familiar with. And so I don't really know what it is about, but by the time uh, September gets here, I'll probably figure out what it is about and uh, figure out what books I'll read for that. So I don't have really anything to read for that month. From October 6th to the 12th is Stephen King and this makes sense because this is a Halloween month and uh, and I thought mostly like Stephen King books, it they're scary or stuff like that, but there is uh, a fantasy series that he has written and this is called the Dark Tower series. I do not have it but I'll get it by the time I October comes. From November 3rd to the 9th is a fairy tale retelling. And this is kind of like, uh, you know, the Lunar Chronicles, Cinder, Scarlet, Cress. I probably might not read those. I'll read something else. Actually, I do have some. What I do have is kind of like a retelling of uh, Peter Pan. And that is uh, Peter and the Starcatcher. So I'll probably read that and I'll... 
Um, and this is kind of the only book I have, so I, I'll get more when I, when the month gets here. And then finally, December 1st to the 7th is graphic novels, or uh, what you call mangas. I don't have too many graphic novels, but I do have a Game of Thrones graphic novel. Um, I only have two of them. I think the third one is actually coming out pretty soon. Um, and I don't know if the fourth one is as well coming out, or if there is a fourth one. Um, but I'll probably read those. I really love Game of Thrones. They're like uh, my favorite, favorite series. Anything related to Game of Thrones, I'll be up for it. Yeah, so those are the uh, themes that are going to go on for the entire year. And um, I'm hopefully going to uh, get as much reading of those done as possible. Kind of, it'll be hard for me because I work long hours during the week and uh, and I kind of need some sleep as well. So I'll read as much as I can during the week. If anybody else is uh, participating, let me know. I would love to kind of uh, share whatever uh, you guys are reading. I'll, I'll talk to you all later. Bye-bye.